Right, a very good afternoon to you all. I hope we're all good. It is Tuesday, the 19th of December, 2023, and we're here again to take a look at the snow chances for the UK in the lead up to Christmas and on the big day itself. Well, before I get this all moving along, I've got to say, I woke up like a kid this morning, having thought it had snowed. I went onto the YouTube account and found that I've now had over two and a half thousand viewers of this last video and 55 new subscribers so for someone that struggles to get more than 50 views per video it's all been a little bit overwhelming so thank you very much uh, for all the new subscribers i really uh, hope you enjoy the content it seems that we're all on a bit of a journey here and if you want to keep um, listening in then just yeah keep watching subscribe like share and do everything that the youtube algorithm likes to do so well without further ado let's move it all along and things have changed so if we just go back to what the air pressure was looking like yesterday if you remember high pressure was over france keeping the south of the uk dry but today what's happened is that area of high pressure has now migrated into the middle of the atlantic quite a deep 1052 area but it has opened the door to the atlantic and as a result We've got a bit of a splash across southern Britain today, some really quite heavy rain. Right, temperature anomalies. So things are now starting to cool from the northwest and from the west. This morning it was very mild across many parts of southern England, as you can see there. But in the last few hours, things have started to cool down. And really just looking around Europe now, the warm anomalies are pretty much over southern Europe, southeastern Europe. And that warm anomaly is still up towards Scandinavia as the Atlantic air has been pushing in. Right, if you're missing the sunshine, I've gone down to Sardinia this morning to the north coast. Here you go. This is at St. Teresa di Galura. 16 degrees, unbroken sunshine, all very pleasant. So, yeah, autumn or call it summer still holds on down to ourself. If you're in search of snow, then go to Finland that's what I would suggest and this is up at Santa's village up at Rovaniemi uh, up in northeast Finland today the snow is falling but the temperature minus three things have warmed up up there considerably considering it's been around minus 15 minus 20 but what really steals the show for me is the North Cape in northern Norway this is up near Skarsvag beautiful place this is up in the Arctic Circle, and this is the scene right now, midday on the 19th of December. This is as light as it gets. They're at 71 north, and that sun is five degrees below the horizon. It will never get any higher than that. The winter solstice is just a couple of days away. And if you like the northern lights, well, it's been beautiful up there. Look at that. Earlier on today, um, overnight, sort of, you get the mist coming down, but look at that beautiful aurora up there it's definitely on my bucket list that place absolutely beautiful anyway i digress let's get back to the weather pattern and our chances of anything wintry well here's the jet stream um today let's push it back to today so yeah as we've seen the jet stream has started to push further south it has opened the door to the west with the atlantic weather fronts and then really over the next couple of days things do change the jet starts to come down from a more northwesterly direction so this is the transition slowly to cooler weather and then on thursday quite a strong jet actually pushing across the uk down from the northwest now this is quite significant this jet really is quite strong 150 160 miles an hour but what that is also doing is that is spawning some really quite active areas of low pressure and one little low pressure system is due to zip through on Thursday and the Met Office have already got a yellow wind warning out for this from zero hundred hours through to well the end of Thursday so all day Thursday across many parts of Scotland northern England down as far as the Midlands and what they're really talking about is they're talking about gusts reaching 50 to 60 miles an hour quite widely and gusts in some exposed areas of 70 to 80 miles an hour. So I always believe that, you know, these weather warnings are valid everywhere. And yeah, I think the timing for this is incredibly 
uh, important because it's quite likely that these um, this wind event will be pushing through throughout the middle part of the day. So something that we need to keep an eye on. Anyway, back now to the actual forecast. We're now going to have a look at the 850s um, of where we've been for the last few days. And we're going to go to Saturday the 23rd. This is the onset day of the cold. So if you notice here, you've got this cold air sitting up to the north of Scotland on Saturday the 23rd. Got to say, it isn't as advanced, is it, as it was showing yesterday. I think yesterday we were looking at this cold air already marching southwards, um, bringing the colder air. But I've got a good idea as to why this is happening. If you just notice this little area of low pressure up towards the northwest of Scotland, that's just holding back the cold air as another push of mild and windy weather pushes across. But if we just push this on to Saturday the 24th, there you go. You've got the cold rest starting to get in to the uh, north of Scotland. Those 850s, though, they're not as cold as they were. And I think it's probably not going to be until we get to probably later on in the day. Let's push this forward to six o'clock on Christmas Eve that these minus fives do eventually get into Scotland, many parts of Scotland and some parts of Northern England. Uh, I think Northern Ireland are in the, the colder air mix, but certainly further south, even late on the 24th, the upper air profile temperatures are still mild. So, yeah, as things stand, the cold air is again delayed from reaching the south of England. Right, let's now push it through to Christmas Day itself. And this looks a little bit more like it. This is in keeping with what we've been seeing for the last few days. So Christmas Day itself, the cold upper air is in place across the UK. Minus sevens, minus eights at 850 HPA. That is 1500 metres up in the sky. And that gives us a good idea of the body of the air mass rather than the surface temperatures a very good gauge for you know dictating if there is potential in that air the, the air mass cold enough to support snow but as we said yesterday you still need to have moisture around you need a front you need convection you need something that's going to bring that down and so what we will take a look at now is the wx charts to see if any precipitation will be coming down in the form of snow for the big day itself so we'll push that out the way. You can go there. Thank you, Mr. Stop Sharing. And we'll move on to the sequence. So let's start to, with today. Here we go. Tuesday the 19th. As we all know, a very wet day down here in the south. I've had eight millimetres of rain already down here in Folkestone. But that will clear out the way throughout the course of the day. And tonight will be clear and cold. Now, showers will be pushing into the uh, Scotland uh, this evening and overnight uh, and in that cooler air they will be wintry so yeah i think we'll be seeing a dusting of snow up there on the uh, up there on the highlands throughout the course of the night and then push that through to tomorrow tomorrow is a breezy day northwesterly winds rather cloudy a mixture of bright spells and showers but mainly dry for england and wales with those showers more focused on those western coasts from north wales northwards again over the higher ground of scotland it's looking like the air will be cold enough up there to support sleet and snow let's push that through wednesday so tomorrow yeah as we see a lot of rain and showers pushing across the north of the uk again turning milder as well and then as we push into thursday the 21st more heavy rain this is the milder day but this is the day that we have that wind warning in effect from the Met Office, something to keep an eye on. And I'm looking at this chart, if you notice, there is a weather front that's pushing down the north of Scotland throughout the course of Thursday. And I think that is where the, the strongest of the winds will be focused on that front. So I think the risk starts towards the north of Scotland at the start of the day, pushing down towards many parts of the borders and then northern England through the middle part of the day. And it's the timing of this. You know, it's uh, middle of the day. People will be out doing their last bits of Christmas shopping. And, you know, with gusts potentially in that range of 50 to 60 miles an hour in built up areas of the north, something to keep an eye on but we will move forward we want to see if we're going to get any snow on christmas day well later on in the day the showers again turn wintry across the scottish hills and mountains 
And then moving into Friday, that's another windy day with a mixture of sunshine and showers across the UK. Once again, it's looking like those purples are only restricted to the Scottish Highlands. So, yeah, it's looking like things are being rather held up with regard to cold on this morning's 6Z GFS run. OK, so now we're going to move through to Saturday the 23rd, which is what I'm going to call onset day. This is the day that we've been bringing this cold weather front southwards, which is marking the boundary between the mildish air and the colder air to the north. And I think it's still fair to say that we do have a front marching southwards throughout the course of the day on the 23rd. But in contrast to what we've seen recently, there's no really cold air following on, is there? There's no deep purples, no heavy precipitation. If we move this through onto Christmas Eve, it's a mixture of certainly sunshine and squally rain showers across many parts of the UK, especially across the north of Scotland. Those showers transferring uh, southwards throughout the course of the day. But once again, it doesn't take long for cold air to dig into Scotland, the highlands, uh, to bring more in the way of snow. Let's move now to the big day itself. This is what we're waiting for. Drum roll, please. Right, and we start six o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day with showers on the western coasts, wintry showers, snow showers across northern Scotland. Looks like there is another band of more persistent heavy snow going to be pushing across Scotland throughout the course of the day. So, Similar to yesterday, I think you guys up there, you're in the uh, in the firing line for some snow at Christmas on Christmas Day itself. And then that pushes across throughout the course of the day. Uh, we'll take a cheeky little look at the south of England on the big day. So, yeah, once again, rather mild down there in the south. Temperatures probably around average. No cold spell as such down here. Um, but yes, I think it's fair to say that really today it's Scotland that is in the game. And then just take a look at Boxing Day. Once again, another area of low pressure brings another band of rain, sleet and snow across Scotland. Probably some quite heavy snow across those Scottish mountains and hills. But further south, things are looking settled. Right, let's now take a look at those ensembles and let's see if we have confidence from those ensembles in those solutions. And so what we'll do is what we've been doing, we'll get the old 850 HPA temperatures up. Here we go. And let's try and decipher some of this spaghetti. Well, it's looking as though the... Um, the consistency for the line to be around the minus five area has been lost. So I think this is a bit of a sort of a, a dwindling snow forecast for the south of England. Lots of uh, scenarios still on the table, but most of them now on the 24th and the 25th are mild. With just one or two of those perturbations in that minus five to minus 10 category. So we're not out of the woods yet in the south. But I think it's fair to say that the chances have dwindled significantly. Let's move north to Manchester. Are you guys still in the game? Well, yeah, I think so. It's a, it's a, it's a closer call. It's certainly a lot more marginal. But on the big day itself, there are more perturbations closer to that minus five line um, with a few below minus five pushing down to minus 10. But once again, there's still a few solutions around the big day of uh, some warmer sort of scenarios there. So, yeah, more confidence for a cold spell across the north. And if we go further north still to Inverness in Scotland, well, there you go. I think you guys, you've been guaranteed this cold spell over Christmas for quite a while now. And looking at that, although there is uncertainty or more uncertainty, there's still spread on those ensembles. Most of them are below that minus five line. So yeah, I think when we just now come on to the grand finale and take a look at the snow depths, we'll notice that there's probably a huge uptick in Scotland compared to the south of England down in London. So we'll have a look at London snow depth spikes. What do we get this morning? Not, <laughs> not a lot. The signal has virtually gone for another year from the south of England. There you go, the 25th of December, two little spikes on the big day itself, barely 0.2 of a centimetre. So I think it's fair to say the dream has been dropped for another year for the south of England. But we'll keep doing this. We'll have a look at it again tomorrow because I think 
it's probably fair to say that Manchester, you guys up there in the northwest, are still in the game. Yeah, there are still some spikes there, but they have reduced. I think it's you know I think that's pretty clear from what we're seeing. But you're still in the game. There are still some spikes, and yeah, I'm, you know, so yeah. Half a dozen here or there, maybe. So, yeah, the signal is there, but it is weaker. And then for the Inverness up there in Scotland, still plenty of spikes going on. But once again, probably not as many up there as well. Um, but enough for me to have some confidence that certainly for Scotland, you're going to get, you know, certainly the Highlands, you're going to get a, a good shot at a white Christmas. So I think that is probably going to wrap things up. Before I do wrap this up, I just want to just go back to that wind event that we're looking at. And I'm going to just go to Manchester and just take a look at the 10 metre um, wind speeds. If we just go on the ensembles here again this just gives us uh, good confidence in any one solution and we just fire that up and there you see there's a huge spike there isn't there on the 21st around the middle part of the day for mean wind speeds in meters per second 15 meters per second that's 33 miles an hour that translates to a near gale and putting on a ratio of gusts of 1.7 these areas are going to be seeing gusts in the low 50s. So it's something noteworthy and something to keep an eye on. Right, so I think I'm just going to stop now. Fair to say it's still looking like it's going to turn cold, but the cold has been delayed again. It now looks like it's restricted to the north with Scotland probably still in with a shout of a white Christmas. But it's all good fun. I'm enjoying it. You're enjoying it. We're enjoying it. And just keep watching and we'll see this one through. You never know. There could be an 11th hour reprieve. But I think it's fair to say the chances are now slim. Have a great afternoon. Look after yourselves and ciao for now.